Hi folks, we're going to look at the Christian in a life, and uh, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Let's pray. Lord, we just pray for this little meditation as we go into this meditation. Father God, I just pray that these words would be a blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. Proverbs 4.23 Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the first thing is, keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. We need to make sure that we watch what we're doing with our hearts, what we're feeding our hearts with. Um, be on guard are you letting anything in your life that might pull you away from Christ today so we look at the inner Christian life and we're looking at Acts 24 <coughs> 16 Acts 24 16 Acts 24 16 we read these words. And herein do I exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offence towards God and towards men. So Paul makes sure that he has a clean conscience. Are we doing that? Are we avoiding anything that's offensive in our conscience and making sure that we have a clean conscience today? Just like you're going to... You, a room where it's all dusty and you go and back it and clean it out what needs to be cleaned out in our conscience today go to the blood of Christ and ask him to forgive you today so we're looking at the inner Christian life so let's turn to Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 if you then being risen with Christ seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God so the inner spiritual life is setting our minds above things on holy things. So often we get distracted with the world thing, with the world's things and our worries and concerns. And if you remember reading the passage about um, the parable of the sower, the word didn't penetrate people's hearts, some of them because they were worrying. And so we can be worried and distracted and we need to be meditating on eternal things, spiritual things, and that will renew our hearts and help us to live practically daily in this world. Okay, we're looking at the inner spiritual life. Uh, let's turn to Romans 12, verse 2. Romans 12, verse 2. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you prove what is the good and acceptable perfect will of God the battle is in the mind if we don't win the battle in the mind we've lost we have to renew our mind with the Word of God if you keep meditating on neg negativity if you keep thinking of negative thoughts negative things then you're just gonna fall you're gonna be pulled back you're not gonna go forward you have to renew your mind with the Word of God and positive things in the Word of God Hi folks, we're looking at the inner Christian life and now we're looking at Philippians chapter 2 verse, verse 13 Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 it says For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure The next thing that we need to learn is be submissive, be obedient to God Whatever God says to us, then we need to do it. If we don't do it, then we're just going to choke the word of God and we're not going to grow, we're not going to go forward. So we have to be submissive to the will of God. And here's the question. Are you like, you know, these horses that have never had anybody ride on them and a rider gets on and the horse kicks its legs up and throws the horse rider off. Are we like that with God? God tells us to do something and we kick against it. Or are we going to be submissive and obedient to what he says? 